and welcome to the Australian Fishing Championships. I'm Pat Panetta. And I'm Sophie Woods. And with three rounds of the championship already in the bag, Sydney's spectacular harbour forms the backdrop for round four of the Brim Pro Series. Only two events to go for our pros and we'll crown one the very first AFC champion. Now we've had three winners so far in three different rounds. First up, Tim Morgan won in Brisbane, then Steve Starling on the Gold Coast, and last week, Team Quintrex's Chris Wright took home the spoils in Pitwater. Now here's a look at last week's action. Pitwater's worst victim was Steve Starling, who played by undersized fish all day, only landed one keeper. Ian Miller only bagged two, arriving too late at a couple of crucial spots. Jesse Lomas also only landed two, struggling a long way from his home waters of Queensland. Adam Reuter used Pitwater to make a comeback, bagging four keepers in an epic first two hours of competition. Tim Morgan's patience paid off, landing three big fish after staying in the same spot all day. But Chris Wright took out the victory amongst the Oyster Lease complexes, upgrading his full bag a number of times. Yeah, it's great to have a good result and just shoot past Jesse and Steve. I mean, they were both just in front of me and I thought I could beat them today. I was hoping to and it worked out well. So Wright's victory catapulted him from fourth to second. Lomas is in third with 20 points, but Tim Morgan holds on to the top spot with a slender lead of three points. So a stack of action from round three. Let's check out the arena for round four. Sydney Harbour, which defines Australia's largest city, has in recent years become somewhat of a must-go area for brim anglers. The Parramatta River especially has excellent populations of structure-dwelling brim, and in such a large system with so many options, the competitors pre-fish is essential preparation. Well, when we pre-fished Sydney Harbour a week or so ago, I found the fish well and truly up the Parramatta River on the run-out tide. Now I'm going to have at least a couple of hours of run-in tide to begin today, which is going to throw me out a little bit, but I'm still going to head right up the Parramatta River and try and find some slightly dirtier water because the fish seem to be more aggressive and keener to take a lure in that discoloured water. As well as the Parramatta River, the many other varied systems that make up Sydney Harbour offer so many options to our pros that the penultimate round is bound to shake up the pack a little. And along with the tour itself, the individual rivalries are now building to a climax. I'm only three points behind Tim at the moment and I feel like I've got a good rhythm going. So um, hopefully up by the end of today we'll be level pegging or even I'm in front nothing to lose now and I'm just going to go out there and try and get a win and hopefully Chris doesn't go so well and, and if I can do that I can be almost untouchable by Melbourne. It only takes one of the, the good guys to have a bad day and me to have a real good one and maybe also pick up that uh, bonus point for the rogue species I'll be looking for Peter Taylor and I could be back up there. Like Team Netspace, all the teams are now looking to the rogue fish bonus point to help them leapfrog others on the leaderboard. If our anglers can snare the longest tailor from Sydney Harbour, they'll score an all-important bonus championship point. So that's the arena for today. Let's check out a piece of kit vital to our anglers' success. Through the series, you've seen our pros using super quiet electric powered motors. These motor guides mount on the front of the pros' boats and use a pair of deep cycle batteries to get through the day's fishing session. To allow the anglers to use both hands while fishing, the motors are controlled, both direction and speed, with a foot pedal. Using a motor guide is easy after a little practice, and that quiet, stealthy approach means that you can catch more fish next time you're on the water. Check them out at your local motor guide dealer. Time now to join Matthew Campbell for the start of round four. Thanks very much, Pat, and welcome to the AFC Outdoors Brim Pro Series Round 4, coming to you from the sensational and spectacular Sydney Harbour, the most beautiful harbour in the world, where three of our pros once again will enjoy a home state advantage. Is there any better place to be than under the Sydney Harbour Bridge today? As we take a look at the map for today's arena, a couple of choices on offer for our pros. The Lane Cove River, or as Steve Starling mentioned, the Parramatta River, or the vast expanse of Sydney Harbour itself. The Club Marine Clock showing seven hours for our pros to fish. As Steve Starling checks his nav man, he and Team Netspace have a specific plan for Sydney Harbour today. Set to go now for round four as the siren sounds are underway. As Tim the Brim Morgan, our championship leader, is first to go. He's followed by the man in second spot, Team Quintrex, Chris Wright. 
In hot pursuit of him, in third place, Jesse Lomas from Team Suzuki. And as Steve Starling gets underway, let's just recap the rules. Our pros are fishing catch and release using soft and hard-bodied lures. They're looking for a maximum of five fish. They'll be weighed in on super yeah. accurate scales. The heaviest bag will take home 10 championship points. These fabulous boats just scooting along Sydney Harbour. Who has the right idea? Who has the right plan? We'll find out after the break. We're up to White Bay. White Bay sounds good. Welcome back to round four of the AFC Outdoors Brim Pro Series. You're with Jesse Lomas, currently in third position in the championship, only five points behind his fellow Queenslander, Tim Morgan. Oh yeah, that's a hit. Just 18 minutes in, and the 18-year-old already throwing out the challenge to Morgan and the rest of the pros. I'm uh, very happy I got here first now. Do, 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 do. That's uh, quite a pleasant start to the day, that. Okay, that fish there just came on a, a Berkeley Gulp, two-inch minnow grub in the pumpkin seed colour, which is a tip-top start to the day. The early bird catches the worm for low mass. As we move over to Chris Wright, currently second in the championship, already with two fish, you could see the bridge in the background. He's hardly moved from the start line. Yep. First cast. Jesus. Whew. Right. It doesn't get any better. I've only been going 20 minutes and I've got three size fish in the well, so if it keeps up at this pace, we're going to have a brilliant day. Well, what an awesome start for Wright as we take a look at his first fish at just 7.09. That's a record for the tournament, the quickest fish in the bag. And then one cast later, four minutes later, he makes it number two with a better fish. The winner of round three at Pitwater, looking to make it back-to-back -back wins in Sydney. He's up against Jesse Lomas, who's also started brilliantly. The youngster, away from his home state in Queensland, hasn't moved from where he got his first fish. And the research has paid off because he's on for number two. He's around the piers and pylons. He's just got to get that fish into the boat. And he's got two and a half an hour. No time for netting that one. Over now to Adam Reuter, currently in last position in the championship, looking to salvage some pride today. I think the water's really clear and they just get too good a look at it and they just nip. Yep, got him. Well, that's a big nip and this should be Reuter's first keeper of the day. It's not a brim though, it's a tailor and that is today's rogue fish. Let's have a measure of your little tailor to fork it is. 267. If that's the longest rogue fish, then the bonus point will go to Adam Reuter as we see Tim the Brim Morgan heading up the Parramatta River quite slowly. He's passing Ian Miller from Team Mariner, who's desperate to get things happening, make a climb up that championship ladder. It's been disappointing so far. It looks like he's on for his first of the day. By the rock wall, just over an hour in, the New South Welshman about to bag his first keeper. Yep, that's the first one. And they're fat fish too. Things working for Miller on the Parramatta River. And that's exactly where Steve Starling said he was heading at the top of the program. You can see him just around the bridge pylons. No luck as yet. He's the winner of round two from the Gold Coast. An hour and a half into the day of the New South Welshman. And he's on for his first. This feels like a reasonable fish. Mm, he might just, might just go 25. It's probably going to be about the shape of my luck today. They're in great condition. When you consider where they live, I don't know if I'd feel too keen on eating them all that regularly, but they're just immaculate looking fish. Starling may need to go for the measure here. The minimum in New South Wales is 25 centimetres to the fork of the tail. Oh yes, 25 and a half. Whew, I start. Thank goodness for that. Back to Jesse Lomas, working over time and concentrating here. Look, already with three fish, we've seen him catch two. This will be number four. We'll show you the third one shortly. It's in the net. Woohoo! Yes. Oh, <laughs> how close was that? Oh, yeah. Berkeley Gulp, uh, pumpkin seed, two inch on a 16 ounce head. Fishing it right hard up in the docks and just jiggling it out. And uh, yes, they, they love them. Jesse Lomas giving us a real insight into the tactics and lures he's using today. As we go back and take a look at his third fish, 
He really is setting the pace today. Four in the live well. Here's Ian Miller. He's a nice one. He's a nice one. Now don't you fall off. Don't you fall off. Please don't fall off. Please don't fall off. Come on. Come on. We'll be gentle with you. Yes. Oh yes. That'll kick us along. They're the ones we want. That's the quality that we were getting the other day. And he bit he bit like a minnow. Just peck, 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 peck. Eventually, he grabbed it. I'd have to be um, pretty confident, I think, to have three in the well by 9.30, and, and there's obviously still fish here. A lot of them are small, but that size might increase as the tide drops and they get concentrated. Miller, confident that the Parramatta River's working for him as we go back and take a look at his second fish, right on 8.40. Perhaps today's the day for Team Mariner. Over now to our championship leader, Tim the Brim Morgan from Team Mercury. One fish in the live well. He knows that if he scores the maximum points today and Chris Wright and Jesse Lomas don't have good days, he can wrap the championship up here in Sydney. Two and a half hours in, not the start he was looking for, but this looks like it's number two. Whew. Second fish for our championship leader. That looks like a pretty good fish. So he's still in the running. As we go back to his earlier fish just over half an hour ago, doesn't look too big, perhaps right on the 25 centimetre mark. Can Jesse Lomas continue to plunder Sydney Harbour? We'll find out after the break. It's a big fish. Come on, buddy, stay on. Welcome back to round four of the AFC big Outdoors fish. Brim Pro Series. Chris Wright with an epic battle on his hands to land fish number four. Oh no, he's got me around something. Oh, he's come off. Come on, stay on, baby. Oh. Come on. Oh. Look at that. Oh. oh, no. Come on. Come on. How is that for a brim? Yes. Yes! This bloodworm truly is an awesome lure. Oh, that's a kilo fish. I locked the drag up and I, I just wrenched. Look at it, it's all chafed. I'll have to re-rig actually before I start fishing again because that was... It could have been not been. <laughs> Chris Wright almost lost for words after winning the battle to land that superb fish. Here's Adam Reuter. His battle is to get onto the scoreboard. Get the net. Turn the well on. It's all happening here today. Thank you. There's number one. Uh, seat, seat for one, was it, sir? How does that sound? There's ta table for one. Oh, it wasn't table for one. Table for five. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's hope all of your mates turn up pretty soon, because you are number one, and now I'm a happy boy. Bit of relief for Adam Reuter. He still has his sense of humour as he pops his first fish into the live well. Here's Jesse Lomas, though, on four fish. The man to catch today. Just one more needed for a full bag, and this looks like it's it. Yes! Woohoo! Oh, oh yeah, that's nice. That's, uh, that's number five. That's a full bag for Jesse Lomas. Hot on his heels though is Chris Wright. He's got four. About to make it five as well. That's number five. Five Ooh. alive for Chris Wright. So he and Jesse Lomas, second and third on the championship ladder, are really pressing this man. Tim Morgan with two fish. Can still wrap it up today, but it doesn't look like it's going to be with the other two pressing hard. This will be three for Morgan, but as we've seen earlier, his fish really haven't been that big. And once again, he's had to go for the measure. Still with three hours to go, he's still in it, but his bag may be a little bit light. Three down, two to go. Don't count Mr. Consistent out just yet. The silver flash slicing through the water, what every pro wants to see, as Adam Reuter hoiks it into the boat, Four fish! Well, what a burst we've seen from the Victorian as we recap the progress of Team Hogsbreath. 
The second fish for Reuter coming at around 10 o'clock. Obviously okay for size, he'd be happy with that. And then some half an hour later, he made it number three, better size, and maybe it's a table for five for Reuter after all. Back now to Team Net Space and Steve Starling. Well, that has been a long, long drought. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think he'll just go two. Still plenty of time for Steve Starling as things are hotting up on Sydney Harbour. Back with our championship leader, Tim Morgan. What a series he's had so far. He took the points in round one in Brisbane, third on the Gold Coast in round two, second in round three at Pittwater. And this will be four, four fish in the live well. He'll be right amongst the points once again. That's four in the well. Two hours for one more fish, I think I can do it. Well, if anyone can, Morgan can. Here's a fish that just needs a net. It's Adam Reuter. He's on four fish. This will be five. A full bag for him. Three of our pros will have full bags. Reuter is right in the hunt as well. Ah, that's made me happy. That has made me happy. That's five. Whew, finally got a limit. Over to Ian Miller from Team Mariner. Now he's moved from the natural structure where he was up the Parramatta River over to some docks. He's on four fish as well. If he can land this, make it five, make it a full bag. Gee, what a weigh-in we're going to have this afternoon. Woo! That's number five. That's good. That's my five. Yes. Much better performance today from Ian Miller. As we go back and take a look at his fourth fish from earlier, the thing about Miller today is the size of his fish. The lures are working. He's right on the money. Just like Steve Starling. Uh, I went to the really light line again, the three pound, because I thought they might be a bit shy in this uh, bright sun, and they are. Come on, mate. Okay. Uh, only a rat compared to the one I got there in pre-fish. Pretty fish, though. Pretty fish don't make heavy fish. That's exactly what Ian Miller's looking for. With a full bag, if this is a heavier fish than any he has in the live well, he can upgrade it. Well, he'll high grade one of the little ones. If I can keep doing that, it probably will go well today. 137, 23 minutes left to go. Number five. I hate waiting this long, but excellent. A full bag for our championship leader, but five of our six pros have achieved that. What a fabulous day's fishing on Sydney Harbour. What a weigh-in it's going to be. Now it's a game. Wait and see. See what the other guy's got. Welcome back to the AFC Outdoors Brim Pro Series, round four. Easily the best fishing of the tournament so far on Sydney Harbour. You're watching Ian Miller from Team Mariner preparing for the weigh-in, where already four of our pros have weighed in, five of our six pros with the full bag limit. Our current leader, Jesse Lomas, with 2.71 kilos, just ahead of our championship leader, Tim the Brim Morgan. What a turnaround it's been today for Team Mariner and Ian Miller. A change of luck, a good bag of fish. They're alive and kicking, as is our championship. Now, you got the full bag, got the full yeah. five. Yeah, you got the full five today. First time in the, in the tour that you got the full five? Finally, yeah. Feel good? No, I felt great. The moment of truth now for Miller and Team Mariner. Exactly how much do those five fish weigh? We'll take a look on the scales at 3.4 kilos, the best weight of the tournament so far. Outstanding performance by Miller. The only man that can beat him now from Team Quintrex is Chris Wright. Now, let me tell you, Sleek, you are absolutely on fire. You won last week in Pitwater. You're currently second in the championships. Uh, you got your full bag here, and yep. you've had a cracker of a day today. I've had a great day today. Caught a hell of a lot of fish and um, got a couple of big ones right at the end. It's been awesome. Right, certainly did have an awesome start. Remember those three fish in the first 20 minutes? Will it pay dividends for him? Miller looking for his first win of the tournament. The scales tell the story. 3.05, it's not enough. Team Mariner have their first win for round four of the AFC Outdoors Brim Pro Series. So to the points for Sydney Harbour and Adam Reuter picking up the bonus for the Taylor. Tim Morgan with just the four points today. Chris Wright and Jesse Lomas getting the points they needed to stay in touch in this championship. Ian Miller with a maximum 10. It was a great result today for Team Mariner. Um, you know, we've all been feeling it and uh, the pressure was really on us and it's a real relief, I tell you. Today's win pushes Miller into fourth place on our championship leaderboard behind Jesse Lomas in third. For the first time in this series, Tim Morgan has been knocked off top spot. He's currently second on 29, but our new leader is Chris Wright on 30 points.
If you have aspirations of being an AFC pro angler in the future, grab a copy of the 2004 Tournament Angler Guide. With all the tips, techniques and gear you need detailed inside, it's a must read for any competitive angler. Available in your newsagent now. Now remember to grab your copy of the 2004 Tournament Angler Guide. It's well worth the read. What a series we've had so far, so Today, Chris Wright moves to the top of the leaderboard. We've had four separate rounds and four different winners. And today, of course, we crowned Ian Miller the champ here at Sydney Harbour. That's right. Now our competition narrows down to three. It's a fight between Chris Wright, Tim Morgan and Jesse Lomas to see who will be the first ever Brim Pro champ. Next week, it's the final round. Crunch time for our pros. It's Melbourne Docklands, the venue. And we'll see you then.